Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Granny's Place. Today, I wanted to come on here and make some of my homemade chocolate syrup. I've already done my caramel sauce. This is what it turned out like, y'all. See, I told y'all that these would come in handy. This is what I bought from the thrift store for 25 cents. So, it made a fantastic door for my uh, caramel sauce. So, y'all, this is all of my caramel sauce I got. I'm going to make some more, just so I have a lot on my shelf, on my pantry. So, let's get y'all situated here. Now, alright, now, in this pot, I have three cups of water, six cups of sugar, and I'm going to be doing three tablespoons of honey maybe two I don't really want this to be that sweet just a little probably two not three I'm gonna do two I don't want this to be super duper sweet. Okay. Alrighty. Now, I need a half a teaspoon of salt. And I keep my jar, my salt in a jar. Okay. Everything's better when you add salt to it, right? All right, come on. Okay. The next thing I'm going to put in here is three cups of cocoa. Here's one. Two, all right, I took the whole three cups, so, so you can get all this out of here, so y'all, one of these right here, it's a eight ounce box of uh, Hershey's cocoa, that it's exactly three cups so it takes one of these to make a batch of your homemade chocolate syrup just wanted to give y'all that little tip so you don't have to measure it out next thing I'm going to add is me a tablespoon two tablespoons of vanilla well yeah tablespoons one Two. Okay. Now, once again, let me tell you what all's in my pot. I have three cups of water, six cups of sugar. I use two tablespoons of honey, a half teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of vanilla extract, three cups of cocoa. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on the stove and cook it on medium heat until it comes to a, a rolling boil. And let it boil for about a minute or about a minute. Turn it down, let it simmer for about two, three minutes. Take it off the stove, can it up, put it in my water bath canner, and water bath it for about 20 to 25 minutes. So, when that, when I get this on the stove and it starts boiling, I'll come back and show you uh, what it looks like. Okay, y'all, this is what it looks like. Just keep staring at it. It's kind of thick, a little bit. But I'm pretty sure it's going to make it for a nice chocolate caramel sauce. 
You can use this in many things. Put it on drizzle on a cheesecake. You can make it, put it in cakes. You can make uh, chocolate milk with it. You can do a lot of things. This is very versatile. You can do a lot of things with this chocolate syrup. Put it on your favorite cake. Chocolate ice, uh, put it on ice cream. Banana splits. So many things you can do with this. Here's my water bath canner. So I'm getting ready to put a lot of cans in there. Just waiting for it to come up to heat. So, this is what it's looking like. So once I get all this into the jars, put them in the water bath canner, I will be back, y'all.